is expecting her third child in April, spotted Professor Jacqueline Dunkley bent among a crowd gathered to congratulate the Duchess as she was made patron of the Royal RCOG and patron of the Nursing Now campaign. The Duchess seemed delighted as she embraced the midwife who beamed as they exchanged a few brief words. Professor Dunkley Bent is understood to have assisted with the delivery of one of Kate's children, and was photographed in uniform outside St. Mary's Hospital in Paddington following the birth of Princess Charlotte. And as she left RCOG, the Duchess told Professor Leslie Regan, It's so great to see Jackie as well, the mother to be looked beautiful in a two-piece blue Jenny Packham dress and coat, which put her growing bump on display. She teamed the collarless coat with white piping with a blue suede pair of heels, a 8,400 pounds Tazanite pendant with matching earrings from G. Collins Sons. The Duchess of Cambridge was this morning greeted by college president Professor Leslie Regan in northwest London before she launched a campaign to promote nursing worldwide. With a busy schedule ahead for today, Kate shows no signs of slowing down ahead of her third baby's arrival in just over a month. Professor Leslie Regan, president of the RCOG, said she was thrilled Kate had accepted the organization's invitation to be its patron. She added, We are very grateful to Her Royal Highness whose support will help to raise our profile as a medical charity that champions the provision of high-quality women's health care at home and beyond. We know that maternal health and mental well-being is an issue close to the Duchess' heart, as a young mother herself. The RCOG is a medical charity that champions the provision of high-quality women's health care in the UK and beyond, by setting standards for clinical practice, providing doctors with training and lifelong learning, and advocating for women's health care worldwide. Founded in 1929, the college now has more than 16,000 members globally, and works with a range of partners both in the UK and abroad to encourage the study of obstetrics and gynecology and advance its science and practice. Professor Regan added, We hope that this new relationship will build on our work to improve health care for women everywhere, and ensure that women's views on the care they receive are at the heart of everything we do. The Duchess will launch the three-year Nursing Now campaign with a hospital visit and talks with nurses from different nations about the value of the work they do. Nursing Now aims to support nurses to become leaders so they can play a greater role in health policy decision-making, helping countries meet the pressing health challenges of the modern-day world. Kate is to visit the Snow Leopard Ward at London's St. Thomas Hospital to get a first-hand look of the work the nurses do in caring for children who need help breathing to stay alive. The nurse-led team trains carers and relatives how to use the children's ventilation equipment to prepare them for going home. The campaign is being run as a program of the Burdett Trust for Nursing, in collaboration with the International Council of Nurses and the World Health Organization WHO. Nursing Now was founded by nurses and other health experts based on the findings of the 2016 Triple Impact Report, produced by the All-Party Parliamentary Group on Global Health. It found that empowering nurses boosts health globally and also helps improve gender equality and build stronger economies. Lord Nigel Crisp, co-chair of the Nursing Now campaign, said, Our campaign aims to improve health globally by raising the profile and status of nurses worldwide, influencing policymakers and supporting nurses themselves to lead, learn and build a global movement. We are delighted to have a patron with such a strong commitment to nursing and a history in her family of volunteer nurses. We look forward to working with Her Royal Highness as we support nursing and nurses across the world.